My name's Lloyd Reeves. I'm a seven-time national champ in the past when I was younger uh, with the ACA and the USCA. Um, right now we're going to discuss choosing a kayak and before you can choose a kayak you really need to know what you want to do with a kayak. You can't have one boat magically do everything. You might be able to get away with it but that one boat's going to not do very well at everything along with being able to do it. If you're just going to play in the water and go look at birds and you aren't interested in speed and all, something like one of these Kiwi sit insides is great. They're dry, you can have camera gear in them. They're made of plastic, so they're pretty cheap. If you're going to be going on the open ocean, though, I wouldn't recommend a boat like this. I, I know people do it, but they're not that easy to rescue. I would start with a sit on top, something like one of the Scupper Pros. Um, if you're into making a little more distance and traveling, you'll want to look into a sea kayak. If you get a sea kayak, make sure you have bulkheads in the front and the back and that you have your pump with you. Don't go out on the ocean with a sea kayak until you've done a rescue in shallow water near the shore because it's not that easy and you want to make sure you can do it in rough conditions. But a sea kayak will get you going the furthest. If you're into going distance on the open ocean, something along the lines of a, a surf ski are the way to go. If you want to race flat water, you need to pick up something like an Olympic boat over here. They're 17 feet long, no minimum beam, and they have to weigh at least 26 pounds. If you're doing marathons, the same boat, except there's no weight limit, so you can spend as much as 4,000 on a full carbon one that's extremely light. It's sort of like racing a fast unicycle, though. You've got to give yourself 50 to 100 hours of tipping over before you start feeling comfortable in a boat like that. Um, also, if you have time on your hands but not a lot of money, you can build yourself a really nice, good performing, lightweight wooden sea kayak. I've done two from Chesapeake Lightcraft. They're great. Pygmy, I know, has a great rep. I haven't built any of theirs, but I've heard good things about them. But just find a nice wooden kit, and at the end of your winter time, you'll have a really nice boat. Um, these are easy to repair, the plastic ones. If you have somebody with a little plastic weld kit, it's possible to repair them, um, but they're also hard to damage. Fiberglass boats, those are easy to, to repair, just like repairing a surfboard. There's a Kevlar material. It's sort of in between glass and carbon fiber. It's real strong. You'll get a light boat like a graphite boat or a carbon boat, but it, the downside on that is that the um, Kevlar will actually get fuzzy when you sand it. It's so strong that it's hard to sand it well enough to repair it. It takes somebody with a very high-speed disc grinder to repair that.